Hi, I'm Simon. Uh, I'm over here in Oregon and I'm about to give you a tour of my 1980 air-cooled Volkswagen Vanagon Westphalia. All right, so I purchased this numerous years ago. Had a lot of problems as do 40-year-old vehicles and bodies. Uh, mine included and so I went through and modified or adjusted or upgraded everything in this rig from front to back and uh, show you piece by piece what I did to make this my my little uh, my little joyable brick on wheels all right so obviously um, a 1980s Westie doesn't come with a GPS so I put that in uh, it's a little obvious why it's there the speed etc not that these things go particularly fast uh, the gauges are pretty standard. It's an air-cooled motor. It doesn't have a radiator on this one. It's one of the few um, of the Vanigans that are air-cooled. Uh, for that reason, I run a tachometer over here because the stock gauge in this one doesn't come with the tachometer and also an engine temp. Sitting in the cockpit here, I changed out the old beat-up Vanigan seats, fabricated some rails and uh, put in uh, 2005 Subaru RS uh, front seats. The carpet is from SoFine. They do a lot of Volkswagen door panels and uh, carpets. Uh, they also do seat covers. They do a lot of cool stuff at SoFine. New carpet, new sound deadening all the way through uh, to quieten this, uh, this beast down. Added in a console because it had, used to have a walkthrough. So I added a console with a cup holder. They weren't big on that back in the day, evidently. And then uh, worked that into my electrical system. So I have uh, a readout on the console here of all my power. So I can access my, my voltage from my solar system. Speaking of solar system, let's head to the back and we'll show you that. Well, welcome to the lounge area of my uh, Volkswagen Vanagon. It's the beast. Uh, this in the back here, we were talking about the electrics um, under here. I'm running a uh, full river battery. It's a 100 amp hour AGM. I've also got another one up under the driver's seat, giving me 200 amp hours of batteries. Up on the roof, uh, I've got a ZAMP uh, 200 uh, watt solar panel feeding through a Renergy MPPT charge controller. Uh, my readouts are here for that. What I'm running on my power is going to be my Dometic fridge. The original fridge was taken out because it wasn't that efficient. And I run a Dometic uh, ice chest cooler style. I also have a flat screen TV. Yep, totally not camping, but I don't care. Flat screen TV and also a, uh, a knockoff Chinese uh, diesel heater, which uh, keeps this thing warm because it is air cooled in the winter time up here in Oregon. The engine doesn't get hot enough to keep the, the cab warm. So we run a, a diesel heater. So that's my power. Um, it runs all the way through a couple of inverters that I've got and it lasts pretty much days. I've also got a DC to DC charger, which runs from the alternator uh, and charges while I'm driving, keeping it boosted the whole time. Um, the reason I put that in is because I did a trip to the Redwoods and figured out that when you're in the Redwoods, you're not getting any sun to the solar panel. So the features on the Vanagon Westphalia are obviously upstairs. Um, there's an upstairs bed there. Uh, it gives you more headroom. So even a guy that's 5'7 seven and 7'8, seven, evidently, my doctor says, can stand up in this thing. So it's a quick pop-up. And now I have standing room. Uh, gives us access to the kitchen. We have two-place burner. We'll have a sink and a water tank is back there, but I, I brought in a new um, water pump, a more efficient water pump than the stock one. So I get uh, plenty of good water in that. Um, plenty of room to cook, plenty of room to clean and hang out. It's kind of cozy with two people in here. Three people, it's a little tight, so my upstairs becomes storage. All right, so for you Westy fans, you know this is not a stock table. It's also not the stock height. The stock height of this is about yay high, whereas uh, I've put an extension on this, and it allows the table to be higher, the same height as the, the countertop, but makes it so you can access all of these cupboards and open this door while the table's in place. It's obviously 
the stock standard swivel system, which will allow you to bring out your table into a workspace if you want it, or dinner, um, but I modified that one. It's kind of one of those hacks that uh, is fairly common with the, the Volkswagen crew. Shortening the table and raising it up, putting a spacer in the, uh, in the table leg works pretty good. Under here is where I keep a whole bunch of my crap, but including that crap is down inside is gonna be our uh, heater, our heater fuel tank, um, and a bunch of recovery stuff and just odds and ends that we need underneath that seat. Not a whole bunch of storage in a Westie, uh, but you become very efficient and uh, very uh, um, creative with uh, placing stuff in the vans. Why did I get a Westie? Well, I didn't have enough stress in my life, so I thought I'd add some stress, and I had a quiver of cuss words that I hadn't used in a while, so I got myself a Westie. Nah, seriously. I, uh, I traveled around Europe uh, on a surf trip back in the 80s, and uh, loved a Westie that I was in. Uh, sort one out, and uh, yeah, thanks for that. How you doing? <laughs> Volkswagen guys, they're all the same. Uh, so I, I searched out a Westie, uh, mainly because I wanted something to go surfing on the coast with, uh, for weekend trips so I didn't have to pay for uh, lodging, and I had enough room for my wife and I to go, throw a few surfboards in, throw the dog in, and go have fun. It turned into a, uh, uh, a labor of love for sure, but it was fun. I mean, West, they're, they're easy to work on, there's uh, support groups, there's forums everywhere. Um, there's a, a lot of people that are so into these things. So I just decided to jump into a Westie. So like I said, I, I drove around in a 79, which is the round version, the bus version of this, uh, in the 80s with a group of four other surfers. Imagine five of us in one of these things. Um, but I always get people stop me on the side of the road or in the parking lots or in the gas stations and say, I had one of those, my dad had one of those. We drove away on so many cool trips, so many good vacations. And I think that's the allure of the, the Vanagon is that we've all done those trips in the past. We've all um, had that time in a Vanagon or a Westie. Um, and I think that's the allure of getting one of these now and making it worthy and reliving our youth, going on those vacations, those family vacations. and and forcing the kids to sit in the back in the hot because there's no air conditioning these darn things. Wind the windows down, I tell ya. All right, this is the bed side of it. This is the lower bed. Um, what we call the master bedroom, obviously, you know, uh, with the TV and the flat screen that people are gonna hate on me for. All right, simple as popping it down. And now you have your lower bed, uh, which is cozy to say the least, um, with two people in it, but definitely doable um, and has been done for years. So, All right, so like all Volkswagens, the engine is in the back of the motor, or in the back of the, the van. This is the original air-cooled. A lot of people will go to a Subaru motor. Um, I decided to stay with the original air-cooled motor. Um, out here in Bend, we've got a great uh, team of mechanics at Young's Old Volks home. Jerry rebuilt this motor for me when I got it. Uh, it has a cam in it, so it will do 65 on a highway. Runs like a champ. I highly recommend if you are not mechanically inclined and you buy a Volkswagen that has issues, just take it to someone and get it rebuilt, get it done properly because I don't mind working on vehicles, but I don't want to do it on the side of the road at midnight in the rain. So I make sure everything's running fine. Remember they're an, a 40 year old car. So for this one to, uh, I could jump in this now and drive to Mexico, it's fine. Uh, all my tools here, that if I do have to work on something for some reason, it's all there. And all my lights have been transferred over to LEDs um, in the van. Um, so uh, it's a little more efficient, but have, have stuff where you need it all my tools ready if I need to, to uh, wrench on something. Touch wood, I haven't had to do it yet. Obviously there's lots of ideas on Pinterest and you get a whole bunch of ideas from the Vanagon sites. One of the cool ones that I've got is my little tray. There's all these hidden spots under here that, that are never utilized by Volkswagen. So I put a tray with all my bits and pieces and odds and ends, slides in there, and uh, it utilizes a waste of space underneath the, uh, the closet there. All right, so people often ask me um, what to look for in, in the vans. Whether you're getting an air-cooled or a water-cooled, 
Um, the water cooled can be changed over to Subaru Motors. The air cooled is a little bit harder, but they sure can be done. You're going to look for rust in these bad boys, rust in the wheel wells, uh, on the seams, look under the vehicle. How's the suspension? How are the axles? Things like that. Um, look for bushing wear. Look for uh, is it riding straight? Do the wheels, wheel bearings shake? Looking for one of these, I would take someone who knows Vanigans with you and expect to spend a bunch of money. I bought this one for seven and a half thousand dollars and my wife's gonna kill me because I probably dropped 15 grand into it and she doesn't know that. Keep it on the DL. I would say take someone with you, check boxes off. Um, there's a bunch of forums that can help you out, um, but look for the main things, the rust, the motor, does it overheat, does it drive straight. My tip for you guys is if you're going to rebuild a, uh, a Volkswagen, rebuild it with good parts. Get the good stuff, it'll last you. Do it right the first time um, or you'll be doing it on the side of the road. Okay, so this is the original uh, vent flue for the gas uh, fridge. I've left it there, there is a, a, a block off you can have. I just think it looks better just like that, whatever. Um, these are our inputs. This is gonna be your 110 input to the, uh, the cab if you wanna run shore power. Uh, this is how we obviously fill the water tank that's under one of those uh, countertops there. But this one's a little different. This is usually used to get um, water in if you're at a campsite. I revalve mine in the inside with some um, shutoff valves and redirected my pump so it doesn't go in anymore. I can redirect it, shove it out, and it can bring out here and it uh, becomes a shower. So instead of being an innie, it's an Audi. All right, as you can see, the stock 14s are not here. I brought in 17s. It's the wrapper in me, I guess. Lifted with Go Westy uh, spring lifts and uh, camber adjustments with the Sparco 17 inch. Um, I'm running on this one, uh, the Nokian. Uh, they're the ones that can hold the uh, uh, weight of the Westy because you need that, uh, that rating for the Westy. So 17 inches, AT tires, runs like a champ. So I, I also build vans, I kind of tinker around. You can hit me up on my Instagram, which is pretty simple, one word, Warden Van Builder. All right, well, thanks for joining me on the tour of my van again. Hopefully you get one, and if you've got questions, feel free to hit me up. Like I said, there's plenty of forums, a lot of Facebook forums, and they're a great group of people. And if you do see one of these and you drive, there's one important thing if you own a van again. You have to wave at every other van again. If you don't, you're out of here. Thank you.